Good morning. I will call this regularly scheduled meeting of the Transportation Public Works Committee uh, to order. Uh, this day, November 7th, 2016, I'm Councilman Reich. I'll be chairing today's committee. I'm joined by my colleagues on the uh, committee, uh, including Councilman Yang, Lydon, Palmasano, Bender, and Gordon. Uh, we are a full committee and we'll proceed with today's agenda, of which we have 13 items. Uh, I will go through the consent items. Uh, any committee member can pull them for further consideration. Uh, item three is the Anderson School Pedestrian Crossing Bikeway Project layout approval and grant acceptance. A uh, series of actions to move forward with that. Item four is the funding agreement with the Mississippi Watershed Management Organization for Southeast Watershed Modeling Project. That great work continues uh, on a citywide basis. Uh, item five is the Southwest Light Rail Transit Project subordinate funding agreement number one. Um, and that is to allow for the Metropolitan Council to reimburse the city for not to exceed amount of 50416 for costs incurred for design services for the Water Treatment and Distribution Service Division pertaining to the relocation uh, of that water main infrastructure in conjunction with that project. Item six is the 49th Avenue uh, North and Queen Avenue North bridges over Shingle Creek project. It's a contract amendment with PCI roads. Item seven is the Northern Lights Express Joint Powers Agreement Amendment. And that's to continue to be a part of that group. Item eight is the sanitary sewer cleaning contract amendment with sewer services incorporated. Uh, item nine is the 2016 levy of various public works department special assessments. Item 10 is the uniform assessment rates establishing 2017 rates. Item 11 is the 2016 traffic zones restrictions and controls. Item 12 is the bid for parking uh, intercom systems project. That's accepting a low bid for that work. And I will, uh, does a committee member wish to pull any items? If not, I will move all items as submitted. All in favor say aye. Aye. Sending name. Those items carry. I'm actually going to go to the uh, item 13, which is a discussion item, and I will make a motion to postpone that item one cycle. Any further conversation? Uh, Council Mayor Yang. <clears throat> Thank you, Mr. Chair, for making that motion. Uh, I am going to uh, speak in favor of that. and. Um, <clears throat> You know, there was just a lot of activity uh, over, let's say, the last few days with regards to that issue. And, uh, you know, um, Hennepin County actually came into my office to uh, give me a briefing. And, you know, it wasn't necessarily a full briefing on the whole, um, I guess, from 10th to Aldridge. You know, the briefing actually was from pretty much Aldridge all the way down to Xerxes or at, to the end of the border. And, um, you know, that wasn't the only consideration, but uh, the other consideration was just that staff had recommended that we just postpone it for one cycle, and so uh, I support that, and um, it's where um, I'm speaking on. So thank you, Mr. Chair. Councilmember Bender. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I'll just note, um, I, I think it's great to um, postpone this a cycle. If there's a lot going on in this one particular corridor with um, planned transit as well as a bikeway and some questions about what kind of bikeway that is. So just note that it's really great that we're talking about what kind of bikeway here um, and look forward to the discussions and thanks to Council Member Yang for kind of leading on postponing that in this chair as well. Any further conversation uh, with that? All in favor say aye. Aye. Dissenting name. That item is postponed. We will now go to our public hearings of which we have two. Um, good morning, Director. Good morning, Mr. Chair and members of the committee, Brett Jelly will make the presentation. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Chair and committee members. My name is Brett Jelly. I'm the Director of Business Administration Public Works. The purpose of these public hearings are to hear testimony on the proposed non-governmental tax, uh, proposed assessments on non-governmental tax exempt parcels for both street lighting and street maintenance. These will be payable 2017 assessments. Minneapolis has been assessing non-governmental tax exempt parcels for street light operations and street maintenance services since 1974. The rate is determined for both assessments by dividing the budget for street light operations and street maintenance by all assessable square footage in the city, which ties the assessment rate to actual costs. Today's public hearing is for the payable 2017 assessments, which uses the same rate as last year. So the only properties that receive notices for these two public hearings are parcels that went from taxable to tax exempt or changed in size. And uh, if they got 
smaller than their assessments went down, so they did not receive notices, but any property that grew in size uh, received a notice. One thing to note, uh, Hennepin County continues to go through a process where they're converting to a coordinate geometry um, system of measurement for properties. And as they've been working their way through the city, that has changed uh, parcels slightly, and in some cases um, made them a little bit bigger, which then leads to a slightly larger assessment and a notice for this hearing, although in many cases it's a very small increase. There are 1,324 eligible properties in the city and notices were mailed to 123 for the street maintenance, 111 for street lighting, and this is comparable to last year. For the street maintenance assessment, the median or middle value assessment for these parcels is $198 a year, and the mean or average is $422 a year. For street lighting, uh, those uh, average values are $40 a year for the middle value and $85 a year for the uh, average assessment. The total assessments for street maintenance for payable 2017 is $559,226, and for street lighting is $111,991,000. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, are there any questions per the presentation? And this is a presentation for both items, but we have yes. open the hearing separately. No questions for the presentation, thank you. So I'll open the uh, first hearing, uh, which is the non-governmental tax exempt parcel street light operation fee 2017 assessment. Uh, we do have someone signed in. Uh, we will start in order. Wesley Anozes, uh, please come forward, state your name and address for the record. Good morning, Wesley Moses. And I'm representing uh, Harbor First oh. Ministries. And we just didn't we got to receive the notice, but didn't know what it's about. So that's why I'm here to find out what the process and what's going on and go from there. Oh, very good. Thank you. And you can also uh, confer more deeply with staff. They're here uh, at your disposal. Thank you. Thank you. Any further um, discussion on that item? Um, seeing none, I will close uh, public hearing number one. Um, committee members, any further discussion? If not, I will move uh, passage resolution adopting those assessments as described for item one. All in favor say aye. Aye. Dissenti name. I'll now open um, item two, which is a similar conversation this time for the uh, assessments for the street maintenance. Anyone signed in? No. Um, anyone wish to come forward? Seeing none, I will close the public hearing. Um, move adoption of that resolution as well. Uh, all in favor say aye. Aye. Dissenti name. That carries. And we have dispensed with today's business and we are adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>